Assalamu alaikum students I hope you all will be fine and safe at your home and having a good Ramzan at your home So bachcho chapter start karne se pehle hum log ek moral lesson ko discuss karenge ki roza jism ki zakat hai Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam ne farmaya har cheez ki zakat hoti hai aur jism ki zakat roza hai बच्चों आप सबको पता है कि अल्लाह ताला ने हर चीज के लिए एक जकात मुकरर की है इसी तरह जिस्म की जकात रोजा है और एक मुसलमान होने के नाते ये हमारा फर्ज है कि हम लोग रोजे पाबंदी से रखें और हर उस चीज से दूर रहें जिसका अल्लाह ताला ने हुक्म दिया है द चैप्टर व्हिच वी आर डिस्कसिंग इज चैप्टर नंबर 5 एंड टॉपिक नंबर 5.2 दैट इज माइटोसिस students in the previous lecture you have discussed in detail that how cell prepares itself for the cell division what are the different stages that are involved during which the cell uh, gets ready for the cell division here we will discuss the stages of cell division which are involved in mitosis for the first time in 1880s a german biologist walter fleming observed that in a dividing cell nucleus passes through series of changes which he called mitosis so students for the first time uh, mitosis was discovered in 1880s by the biologist named walter fleming as he observed that in a dividing cell nucleus passes through number of changes and then he called it as mitosis so the definition of mitosis is that mitosis is a type of cell division in which a cell divides into two daughter cells each cell with the same number of chromosomes as were present in the parent cell so students it means that during mitosis the parent cell will divide into two daughter cells and each daughter cell will have the same number of chromosomes as they were present in the parent cell here you can clearly see that same number of chromosomes are present in the daughter cell as they were present in the parent cell then mitosis occurs only in eukaryotic cell in multicellular organisms somatic cells will undergo mitosis students somatic cells are those cells which form your whole body okay they will undergo the process of mitosis then prokaryotic cell undergo binary fission they do not undergo proper mitosis here is the question that why prokaryotic cells do not undergo mitosis do you have any idea okay first of all you will think about it and then we will discuss the answer you have to think that why prokaryotic cells do not undergo proper mitosis now we will discuss the phases of mitosis it is a complex process and there are two major phases of mitosis the first phase is called karyokinesis which means the division of nucleus and the second major phase is the cytokinesis which is the division of cytoplasm both these stages will make will complete the process of mitosis now karyokinesis is further divided into four phases these are prophase metaphase anaphase and telophase student don't mix the phases and don't change the sequence of these phases you have to memorize these stages in a correct sequence prophase metaphase anaphase and telophase now we will discuss uh, each uh, phase in detail the first phase is prophase 
during process number of uh, changes are involved and these are that genetic material which is called chromatin students before cell division the dna material is present in the form of chromatin that chromatin will condense to form highly ordered structure called chromosome already in the previous chapter we have discussed the difference between the chromosomes and chromatin so chromatin is present before the cell division and when this chromatin will condense it will form a highly ordered structure that is called your chromosome okay then each chromosome is made up of two sister chromatids bonded at centromere students here you can see the picture of chromosome chromosome consists of two sister chromatid here is the first sister chromatid and second sister chromatid which are bonded together at a point that is called centromere then each chromosome chromosome has kinetochore that is a complex protein at centromere students the centromere of the chromosome have a complex protein that is called kinetochore each centriole duplicates and two daughter centrosomes are formed students a set of centrioles is called centrosomes and in this phase the centriole will duplicate and two daughter centrosomes will be formed here you can see clearly this is a set of centriole it will duplicate to form another set and they will move towards their respective pole here next point is both centromeres migrate to opposite poles they form microtubules called spindle fibers students when centri centriole will duplicate each centriole will move towards the opposite pole and they will start originating these microtubules called spindle fibers nucleus and nuclear envelope disappears and spindle fibers invade the central space so students in prophase the nucleolus and the nuclear envelope both will disappear and the whole cell will be invaded by the spindle fibers so all these changes are involved in the prophase you have to learn them in the sequence okay students here are some pics which are taken from your book we will discuss them all uh, both these uh, pictures are of prophase in the first pic you can see that chromatin condenses and centrosomes will replicate this is the chromatin material you can clearly see the difference between the chromatin and chromosomes here okay students this is the uncondensed form thread like structure and chromosome is the highly condensed form of chromatin so chromatin will start condensing centro centriole will start duplicating then condensation continues and the spindles will be formed this is the structure of a chromosome the two sister chromatids are joined together at a point this is called centromere and centromere have a complex protein which is called kinetochore so condensation is still continue and the spindle fibers will form after the condensation and the spindle formation the nuclear envelope will disappear nuclear envelope breaks nucleolus and the nuclear envelope will disappear now a video is given to you you can see all these things 
which are happening in the pro phase clearly okay mitosis in this module you will learn about mitosis mitosis is a process of cell division that makes possible regeneration of body parts to elaborate mitosis is the separation of nuclear chromosomes into two identical daughter nuclei it is divided into four key phases prophase metaphase anaphase and telophase an additional phase called cytokinesis occurs after the complete nuclear division before a dividing cell enters mitosis it undergoes a period of growth and rest this period is called interphase in interphase the genetic material of a cell increases prophase during prophase the chromatin condenses and becomes short and thick to form chromosomes each chromosome has two sister chromatids joined together at the centromere the nucleolus disappears and the nuclear membrane starts to break down the centrosomes each with a pair of centrioles move apart to the opposite poles forming a spindle between them mitosis in this module you will learn about mitosis mitosis is a process of cell division that makes possible regeneration of body parts to elaborate mitosis is the separation of nuclear chromosomes into two identical daughter nuclei it is divided into four key phases prophase metaphase anaphase and telophase an additional phase called cytokinesis occurs after the complete nuclear division before a dividing cell enters mitosis it undergoes a period of growth and rest this period is called interphase in interphase the genetic material of a cell increases prophase during prophase the chromatin condenses and becomes short and thick to form chromosomes each chromosome has two sister chromatids joined together at the centromere the nucleolus disappears and the nuclear membrane starts to break down the centrosomes each with a pair of centrioles move apart to the opposite poles forming a spindle between them i hope students uh, definition of mitosis and the major two phases then the uh, names of all the four phases of uh, karyokinesis and the very first phase of mitosis is clear to you i hope everything is clear and you have learned each and everything from the slides as well as the video also now it's a time for your homework you have to learn the definition and stages which are involved here and also you have to draw the diagram of prophase neat and clean proper diagram of prophase okay in the uh, next lecture we will discuss the remaining uh, three phases of the mitosis thank you